Hi, this is Young Girl Creator, the Sprite comic, There Goes the Neighbor, and this is sort of a personal first impression of the Assassin's Creed 2 game. No, I'm not talking about the one for the Xbox 360 and the PS3 version. I will not go fanboy on it just because I do not have the systems for it. Though I do I do got to admit the hero of this story is kinda of, it's kinda of cute. I'm talking about the one made for the Nintendo DS, Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery, which was released on the same day. While history-wise, the Assassin's Creed game for the DS system had mixed feelings with fans. You liked it and took what Ubisoft gave to you, or you went into fanboy rage, saying it was the most characteristic thing you ever got your hands on. I assume the first game was so bad, you'll find lots and lots of used copies in game store. Well, I managed to find one, a new one for $20 Canadian. It's roughly about 15 to $18 US for folks not up here. And despite it being a pretty bad excuse for a game, it was supposed to be the first game of the series, or what the timeline of the series say. We're talking about Assassin's Creed, not Zelda. The only thing about it is that the first DS game in two y is two years before the console game, and the DS game after is a noob. So how is this possible for someone to become a master? A master in Assassin in just two years! It just does not compute! Seriously, what the hell?! The gameplay was not something fans enjoy, especially when you did pickpocketing and interrogation modes. At first they give you a tutorial rip, but then after it they gave you a timeline to use your stylus to get the stuff or information you needed. Basically arrows and white circles told you where you go. If you played side scrollers you may like this game, but if you played the console version you'll hate it with the poor graphics and the fact you don't have to be stealthy to go from point A to point B. Well, did you think Ubisoft learned their lesson by making another DS game for their series? Well, not really. At first glance at the game, you get a tutorial, and yes, you're not Desmond running around the glad- or uh, Amius. You're Desmond dressed up or Enzo, or you're Enzo's running around the future program, I don't know. It's just like, I'm not a fanboy of this, but I'm just going along for what's going on. The graphics are still just as bad as the first one. The annoying factor is that the woman's voice during the tutorial, if you screw up just one simple test during the lesson, you're back to the start of her lesson, hearing her voice over and over and over again. Plus, the soft missions will hurt you. No, seriously, my last problem was starting to get sore after holding down the L button and using the control buttons. Just when you think you're almost close to ending the lesson, there just has to be just one single guard that catches you and you have to start the tutorial all over again. And that guard happens to be off screen! Yeah. Oh, if you get seen four times by a guard during stealth mission gameplay, then the mission is over. Yeah, I guess this is a frustration that will make friends throw their DS out the windows because of it. But there are some good points in this game. You can perform stealth cures, which differ from how quickly you attack the guards. It's nice to see a mini cutscene of your successful kill. You can roll through small cracks to avoid conflicts. It seems to feature that the co same confidence system in the first DS game. The unlockables are decent, most basically new costumes to unlock other modes and give you an endless supply of destroying knives. If you own a DSI, you can even make your own wanted posters for the game. Nice. The bad news about this game is the consistent repetition of screwing up a mission and starting at the beginning of it. Trust me, you will screw up at the first time you're playing it. Plus, the graphics make the characters look just as bad as triggering sprites. Well, in conclusion, do you need to get this game? No, but to better understand the games on stealth, it might be required. Plus, it's different adventure for Enzo, heading off to Spain during the time of the Spanish Inquisition to save his fellow assassins. It's a game more preferred for history lover than actual gamers. On the plus side, you can take it anywhere you want instead of curling up in the console at your own place. 30 US for it is not quite bad. Well, that's all for now. Leave comments and tell me what you think. Just don't be stupid about it. See ya!